Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. Um, the way. It is good to be back. Okay, so uh, we're going to get into the Haney Loma fight. Uh, Haney retains his titles, uh, remains uh, undisputed at 135, keeps all the belts. But before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Quick hits come you every day uh, to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Uh, please follow us all from social media. Also, subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right, let's get into today's show. All right. Um, close fight. I, I don't have a problem. I scored it for Loma, 115, 113. We'll go with my scorecard in just a minute. I'll tell you what rounds I gave to who. Uh, I don't have a major problem. With the decision going to Loma, but with blah, 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 blah. the decision going to Haney, I don't think he won the fight, but it was close. It was super, super close. Uh, I said as long as I get 115, 113 cards, either way, I'm cool with it. 116, 112, I have a little bit of a problem with. I'm not sure what judge. I'll, I'll try to look it up. Um, I'm not sure which judge good at 116, 112. That's uh, eight to four. Um, I got a little problem with that. It, 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 it's these these cards are always hard for me when the vast 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 majority of the people one sixteen one twelve was David Murray. He is awful. He is a terrible judge. Uh, I've done shows on how bad Moretti is as a judge. Um, he's terrible. He's top ranks guy, obviously. Um, and it's another one. It's not a good card. It's four rounds for Loma, and that whole fight is bad. Um, it's just not good. Um, it's just not good. It's not a good card. Like I don't know what else to say about it. It's not good. Um, but putting that aside, I don't have a major problem with 115, 113. It's 7-5. Yeah, I can, I can see that. You flip two rounds. Now, from what I – and everyone I'm talking to, and, and tell me how you had it. Everyone I'm talking to had it had at 115, 113 Loma across the board. Uh, Chris Algeria had 114, 114. We're still two rounds off. Um, Again, I'm fine with 150. There were so many close rounds in this fight. Once you start at 116, 112, I got an issue with that. Like, if it was 117, 111 Loma, I would have had a problem with that because it wasn't that kind of fight. He didn't win eight rounds. And I guess I have a problem. When everyone watching the fight has one guy winning, and it's a close fight. So I'm not saying it's robbery or anything like that. But when everyone has it the other way, when everyone has it for, for one fighter, for fighter B, and then all three judges score for fighter A, it really makes you think, like, what, how is it possible that everyone watching the fight on their TV has it one way, and the three judges have the, the opposite way? How how is that possible? I I, I don't really follow that. Um, I, tell me how you got to that card. I I just I, I don't see it. Right, uh, one sixteen, one twelve, one fifteen, one thirteen. I'm gonna disagree with you, but I can live with that. And now we're gonna flip one more round. Give me the eight rounds that Haney won. I I just don't see it. Again, it's close. I'm not gonna. Have a problem with it. I, I want to see the, the, the cards. I'm gonna, I'll do a reaction to that. Um, but, you know, I, I, I never thought Haney was in control of the fight. I never thought that Loma was in control of the fight either. But eight to four tells me you were in control of the fight. And I, I, I just don't see it that way. I, I didn't see him in control of the fight. He was winning rounds. I, I thought he rallied. Um, let me pull up my card. Let me give you guys the deets on my card. Um. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Here it is. So I gave 
Uh, round one, Loma. Round two, Haney. Three and four, Loma. Five, Haney. So I gave Haney two and five. Gave Loma six. Gave Haney seven and eight. I thought he got things going there, right? So I got it four, four at, after eight. And then I scored nine, 10, 11 for Loma. And it looked like Loma in that 11th round was gunning for a stoppage. Now, I didn't give it 10 8, and no one else did. So that's cool. Um, and then uh, round 12, obviously, Haney had a great round. Uh, I, I thought if Haney, if Loma won the 12th, he'd be safe. Like there was no way you could not give it to him. Um, didn't turn out to be the case, right? He, he, he needed that round just to get a draw, which was, again, isn't that weird? Like I, you, ha you had to give him 9, 10, 11, right? So at the at, after 8, you had him down 6, 2? See, see what I'm saying? Like, you had to give him 9, 10, 11. I haven't seen the cards yet, right? But you had to give him 9, 10, 11. He's getting it going. He won those rounds. So that tells me you had him down 6, 2. And, and did Moretti have him down 7-1? Because he had to have, right? Like, the, the, the only rounds that were clear to me were 9, 10, 11, and 12. 9, 10, 11 for Loma and 12 for Haney. One for Loma I thought was pretty clear. Two and three toss-up rounds. Four, uh, Haney round. Five, want to toss it up? You know what? I got... I mean, uh, five was a Haney round. Four you could toss up, right? Um, I'm just not seeing how you get that, right? Like, when, Haney, when Loma wins 9, 10, 11, that means on Moretti's card, he only won one other round in the whole fight. Well, he won one. So then did you give two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? Like, I, I got to see Moretti's card. It's because it, it, it's quite poor. Um. But let me know what you guys think. Um, leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share. Um, also, let me know what you guys have. Share your score cards with me. Um, I you know, I broke it down round by round. Uh, I'm gonna do a little more in depth breakdown on the X's and O tomorrow. But today I wanted to, to react to the scorecards again. I don't want to call it a robbery. I, I I hate that term. I hate calling it a robbery. But I really don't see how you can get 116, 112. Right, 115, 113. If you give every close round to Haney, fine. Good. Okay. Now you're flipping. You give them every close round and give them one more. I'm going to pull this up real quick and see if I can I can get the scorecard on this. Um, how did Coppinger have it? Okay, Coppinger had it for I know, not like what Coppinger had. Oh, here the here the cards, here the cards, here the cards. All right. Uh wow, this is bad. Yeah, they didn't give him 9, 10, 11. None of the judges gave Loma the ninth round. I don't even know how to respond to that. Moretti didn't give him the tenth. They gave him the ninth or the tenth. I mean, they give them the. These scorecards are atrocious. I, I mean, these scorecards are poor. Um, they're not good. Uh, I'll break it down for you right now. Um, Tim Cheatham gave the first round to Loma, and the second? The second you could toss up. I mean, these scorecards are atrocious. I mean, they got every round wrong. I, I, I'm 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 in shock of these cards. Like it's not the, 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 the scorecards are one fifteen, one thirteen are the worst things I've ever seen. But it, it, it's like they were just guessing. This I, I'm gonna do another show on the score. I, I, maybe I gotta go back and watch the fight again. I feel like I'm watching a different fight. None of the judges gave Loma the first round, and none of them gave him the ninth. And then Moretti gave the ninth and the tenth. I'm, I'm, I'm speechless, man.
<laughs> At least I get Haney the 12th. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on all, all my social media. Uh, quick hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day, to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Please also subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. Um, quick hit. Um, all proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. It is now May 21st, uh, 2023, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. <laughs> Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.